Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do an assembly of the little bases that hold the finger. So here's a finger that's partially assembled. We're going to go ahead and put together these two pieces that, the assemb that, that hold the finger. So we're going to go ahead and start with the more complex of the two, which is the one that actually bolts to the palm or to the plate. So that is going to entail using that little piece. You'll find two of these little side braces, one little back brace, and then you'll notice there's two of this style of piece here. And uh, one of them has a hole and one of them has a slot. So for this particular portion of the the build, we want the one with the slot. Okay, and so that's all the parts that make up this assembly. Now, also for this assembly, we're going to need to get, grab one of our small pieces of hardware. So, I'm going to open up our hardware bag. I'm going to set this down here real quick to dump out my hardware so it doesn't roll all over the place. And once I got my hardware out, move that out of the way. Okay, so what we're looking for to do this assembly is these are what we call uh, um, binding posts. So you'll find in here a really short binding post. There'll be three different heights. We've got a 5 8 a 3 8 and a quarter inch binding post. So what you're looking for is the shortest binding post, the threaded side, uh, the, the female side, and then you want to find the shortest male threaded screw. So these two pieces to go together. Now, we'll set that one aside for the next build. So, we're going to start with our main piece here. And again, we're going to look at our part, both sides, and we're going to find the side where the hole is kind of ovaled out. So, the, this, the clean side, when we assemble our parts, we want the clean side out. We always want this clean face facing away from the assembly. So, I'm going to put that down, and I'm going to take this little female binding post section, and I'm going to press it in the little hole here. Just goes like that. So that presses in there, and uh, it should be a nice tight fit, and that's where that guy's going to live. Now you've got to push this binding post into this piece before you start the assembly, because once you start putting all these other pieces on here, it's going to capture it in there, and it won't ever come out again. So, after we've got the binding post pressed in there, next thing is to get this little part. Now, one thing about this little part is it needs a tiny little bit of clearancing. If you look really closely, you'll see there's like a secondary notch in the base of this. And when you go, you want to, this piece pushes on the lower set of notches on this base. So when you put this in here, you'll see those little tiny notches hit that aluminum binding post. Um, we need to clearance that corner just a little bit so that this part will push all the way in and the prongs become flush with the face of the part. So basically we'll just take this part and that's where the hobby knife comes in. I just take it and I just kind of trim out a little 45 degree section. And be careful not to trim too much or to create a little bit of a start there. Oh, see, I did it on this one. Well, we're going to keep moving ahead. If something like that happens, you'll see I kind of removed a chunk of the plywood right there. Not really critical on this particular part. But it can happen if you catch a, a, a spot where the, the plywood is not glued well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave that be, but if something like that does happen and it really bothers you, let me know and I can probably drop a couple of new pieces in the mail just in an envelope and get them out to you if you want to wait. So now that we've clearanced those little nubs, you'll see that when you press this part in, it goes all the way in and it's flush right here on this back side of the part. And that's what you want to do. You want to make sure that that part can go flush all the way in. So press that part in like that. Now, um, on this part, the side isn't necessarily critical, but again, this would be the clean side, the side with the nice holes. So next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and take some of these side braces. Now, on the side braces, the clean side again goes out. And how you'll know you've got it right is as you go to put them in, they'll slide in a little easier. If you've got them backwards, the taper doesn't help them slide in. So we just kind of take them and we push them in. We kind of just push it flush. Everything kind of just snaps together nicely. We'll take the other side. We'll just kind of press that one in also. 
and again, you're just kind of squeezing everything. Everything's got a nice stop on it, so it'll, it'll slide into place and lock. So we've got those four pieces together. And then your final piece is to take this little crossbar. I, this one's not critical on which way it goes in, but it just kind of drops in from the backside. And there you have it. That's a fully assembled part. Now, we've done this because on this particular piece, I'm going to use the super thin super glue. And when you're going to use the super glue, you want to pre assemble the part so that it's ready to just, we're basically just going to drip the super glue on here and, uh, and it'll, it'll seize it up. If you're going to use the wood glue, it's a little bit different procedure, and I'll show you on the other part how we do that. My recommendation super thin super glue. Um, so once we've got all these parts squeezed together and we're happy how the, everything fits and it's tight and well assembled, we're going to go ahead and get our super glue, open it up. Now, you need to be really careful with this stuff. It is extremely thin, and if you just flip the bottle over, it'll actually shoot out. It is, it is a water-thin super glue, and it goes everywhere. So get practice with it a little bit so you don't make a mess, because you can very quickly glue your fingers to the part. If that happens, slowly peel them away, and then sand the super glue off of your fingers. That's the best way i found to get it off. But we want to try to avoid doing that. So we start by holding our part, taking our super glue, and we're just going to very slowly place a drip at each one of these little intersections here. And you'll see it just kind of wicks and soaks into the wood. And what's that doing? That's, that's wicking down into the joint and locking everything together. Now, you'll notice that you'll get some onto this binding post. And that, what that's going to do is it's going to glue, glue that binding post in place. On this side of the, the finger, Gluing that binding post in place is okay. We don't care if it gets stuck. We don't want to get glue down the threaded hole. Be careful not to do that because then it'll bind when you go to put the screw in. So I soak those, that surface, then I turn it over a little bit. Again, make sure it's nice. And I'll come in and I'll do the same thing. I set a little bit here on this joint from this direction. And then I'll put a little where these two meet. And you just kind of work around. Be careful when you start getting close to your fingers. Hold it from below. You just want to work in some super glue into that wood. And what's nice is not only is it locking the parts together, but it's also strengthening the wood. It's helping kind of bond the wood together because it wicks right into the surface of the wood. So I'm just going to kind of work around each of the individual joints here. Flip it over, put a little on the bottom here on these back joints. And then I come up here and put a little on the top here. Again, you got to be really careful. The stuff comes out really quick. We're just kind of shaking it and letting it dribble out into place. Okay. So once we've coated all the surfaces, that's pretty much done. Now when that hardens up, which won't take very long, just a few minutes, it becomes an extremely rigid and strong part. So, with the base part done, we'll go ahead and set it aside and we'll move on to assembling the other portion, which is the front piece with the D-shapes here.